Being a programmer, it's all about endless caffeine crossing algorithms and making six figures, right? Well, no. Let me take you to the side of programming no one really talks about. The one that'll have you second guessing whether you should have tapped into your love for coffee and become a barista instead. The dream. Working from anywhere, getting paid to do what you love, coding by the beats, sipping lattes and solving algorithms like a wizard. But the reality? You'll likely spend your days battling bugs at 3am, living on caffeine and frantically googling how to undo Git reset hard. Welcome to paradise. Burnout is real. It doesn't hit you all at once. It's more like a slow burn, pun intended. You keep telling yourself I can handle this until one day you're knee deep in bugs, your brain has melted and you're sitting there asking, how did I end up here? Fun fact, no amount of coffee can fix this. Trust me, I have tried. And then there's imposter syndrome, that nagging voice that says, you're not good enough. It doesn't matter if you've been coding for a week or 10 years, you'll have days where you stare at your code and think, do I even know what I'm doing? Yep, even the pros are secretly googling the basics, or worse, regex. Imposter syndrome always lurks, like an uninvited guest at a party. Good news, you're not alone. And the bad news, it never really goes away. But here's the trick, everyone else is winging it too. And remember that one bug you spend hours fixing only for three new ones to magically appear? Yeah, welcome to your new normal. And just when you think you've mastered the stack, bam, here comes a new JavaScript framework or yet another Python update. Better learn it or feel like a dinosaur because the industry moves faster than your Wi-Fi at Starbucks. And apparently, if you don't know every single library, you're practically obsolete. It's like trying to outrun a treadmill on a max speed. One minute you're a hotshot dev, the next you're googling what's this new thing called Rust. But in all seriousness, the mental health toll is real. Isolation, pressure to constantly deliver, the anxiety of am I good enough, it takes a toll. And it's something we don't talk about enough in this industry. You're not a machine. You need breaks. You need balance. Burnout and mental exhaustion aren't signs of weakness. There are signals that you'll need to hit pause before your brain turns into spaghetti code. So how do we even survive this coding chaos? First off, take breaks. No, really, take breaks. Go outside, breathe some fresh air. The bug will still be there when you get back, but at least you won't want to throw your laptop out the window. Second, stop comparing yourself. Everyone's journey is different. Some people write clean code on day one, but most of us, well, we need a little more Googling. And third, remember why you started. The thrill of solving problems, building cool stuff, creating something out of nothing. It's still there, buried underneath all the bugs and stress. Keep that spark alive. And at the end of the day, coding is tough, but so are you. You'll have ups and downs, but the satisfaction of finally sipping that feature or fixing that bug, totally worth it. And if you can handle the late nights, the debugging nightmares and the constant feeling of not knowing anything, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is the moment when your code runs perfectly. Until the next bug. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.